In this video, I'm going to be sharing seven tips and guidelines for psychedelic exploration. How do we travel the furthest? How do we get the most out of this experience while also being as safe as possible? Psychedelic substances such as psilocybin, LSD, DMT, and others have been getting more and more attention in the media for their incredible potential to heal mental illness. Not only that, but I believe that if we use these tools in a skillful way, we can gain new insights into some of life's greatest mysteries, such as the nature of consciousness and our place in the cosmos. But here's the question, how exactly do we do that? I mean, it's one thing to consume a psychedelic substance, but once we're in the experience in these non-ordinary states of consciousness, how do we... What are the best approaches or techniques that we can use to maximize the benefit that we receive? With the right approach, we can travel more deeply into the mysteries of mind and consciousness. So without further ado, let's dive in to seven tips for psychedelic exploration. Welcome back to Cosmic Consciousness. My name is Jonas, and over the past year, I've been working as a psychedelic guide or facilitator here in Jamaica, where psilocybin mushrooms are 100% legal. To learn more about this work, please check out my brand new website that I've just launched. I'm super excited to be announcing this, innervisionpsychedelics.com, where you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. Now let me start by saying that, of course, there is no one right way to trip. Everyone is unique, everyone is different, and much more important than following all these tips down to a T is to follow your own intuition, follow your own inner guidance. See what feels right for you, see what works well for you. The intent behind this video is really just to share what I have found to be effective in my own experience and in that of others I've worked with. Now, imagine for a second that the psychedelic experience is like a river, a flowing river, and you and I, the psychedelic explorers, are like little kayakers or canoers on the surface of the river. The more experience that we have, the more skillfully that we navigate, the smoother and more enjoyable that ride is going to be. So first things first, before we even consume the psychedelic substance, some degree of preparation is required. It's important to consider our intentions, the set, the setting, the substance, the dose, and the more intentional we are about all these different factors, the more intentionally we set the stage for the experience to unfold, the more likely it is that we're going to have a positive, beneficial, profound experience, right? But really the focus of this video is after we've already consumed the psychedelic substance, once we're in these non-ordinary states of consciousness, what are the best techniques and practices that we can use to travel further? So the first tip is to cultivate an attitude of trust and surrender. Trust in the wisdom of these ancient and sacred medicines. These have been around for hundreds of thousands of years and used by our ancestors for many thousands of years. This is almost always my first move after I, com after I consume a psychedelic substance. A little prayer of trust. Just speaking to myself or speaking to life, I don't know. I trust you. I trust this medicine. I trust this medicine to show me what, I, what it needs to show me, what I need to see in order to heal and grow and evolve. And after working with these substances on many dozens and dozens of occasions with dozens of people, I am now convinced that there is a reason why we are seeing what we are seeing in the psychedelic experience. It's like there's an intelligence to it. There's a reason we are being shown what we're being shown. And once we find that sense of trust, then we can really surrender to the experience. And surrender is all about going with the flow. It's about giving up this need to control how this experience plays out, right? And it's not about giving up. It's about coming into full conscious alignment with the natural unfolding of the experience. The more that we can just trust and surrender, let go, this is how we flow downstream gracefully. The second tip here is that psychedelic exploration is all about being rather than doing. 
In the psychedelic experience, it's not about doing X, Y, or Z to travel the furthest. It's more about moving all of our attention into being, presence. These are states of meditation and awareness, just being aware. What is the quality of our being in this moment? Are we present? Are we collected? Are we centered and grounded? Or are we scatterbrained? Are we lost? Are we frazzled? Now, in everyday life, have you ever noticed how, especially in modern Western society, there's this obsessive focus on doing. There's always more stuff to do. We gotta do, accomplish, achieve, acquire, this constant doing, 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 and we often neglect being. The more that we can consciously pause, set aside all the stuff that we need to do and accomplish and achieve and just be present in the experience, rest as we are, the more deeply that we're going to travel. And if you need some activity to give the mind, let it be this, observe. Observe non-judgmentally as the experience unfolds. The third tip is to allow the mind to settle. And again, all these points are interconnected. This connects back to being versus doing. Being is all about coming out of the mind and back into the body, back, back into the sensory experience. I have found this to be one of the biggest limitations of the psychedelic experience is people who are constantly lost in the mind, in their everyday life, they have no experience with inner stillness, inner silence, these meditative higher states of consciousness. These people may encounter more limitations or more challenge in the psychedelic experience because in the psychedelic experience, this compulsive need to understand, to analyze, to judge, to conceptualize, this is not serving us. This is moving us further from the direct experience rather than closer. There's plenty of time later to try to understand what the hell just happened to us, right? In the psychedelic experience itself, we really want to practice discovering this inner stillness, getting back into the body, getting back into the sensory experience itself, just observing and sensing in that way. The fourth tip is to breathe through the ups and downs. The psychedelic experience comes in waves, it comes in chapters, it's got ups and downs. The breath is one of the most important tools that we have as psychonauts to stay grounded and present through the duration of the experience. The more that stuff really gets tumultuous in either a good or a bad way, the experience can get really, really intense. The breath is our lifeline, it is our anchor. This is how we stay present and calm and aware and centered and grounded and non-judgmentally allow the experience to move through us exactly as it is. I cannot emphasize enough how powerful it can be in the psychedelic experience if we're in a difficult spot to breathe fully and deeply and slowly. This can help relax the entire system and is such an important tool. The fifth tip for psychedelic exploration is fully express your emotions. In the psychedelic experience, you may find yourself laughing uncontrollably for no reason or you may find yourself crying or anything in between. Let the emotions flow my friends. Let the emotions flow. There is a reason why they are coming up. This is a good thing. This is a healing part of the experience. In fact, this is the entire healing journey is to uncover these emotions that have been repressed or suppressed and are festering in our psyche like an untreated wound. By allowing these emotions to move through us, by fully expressing these emotions, this is how we heal. This is how we level up. Now, this is much more easily said than done in many cases. Like if a challenging emotion such as grief or shame, shame has been a really challenging one for me at times in the psychedelic experience, it can feel really hard not to try to push that away or distract ourselves, right? But again, by allowing these emotions to run their course, by fully expressing them, this is how we process. This is how we transcend these old wounds and heal these deep core wounds and level up and open up deeper dimensions of the psychedelic experience. The sixth tip for psychedelic exploration is navigate anxiety and resistance with awareness. 
This is one of the most important pieces of the whole thing. And again, I'm, I'm talking about really the same key idea of going with the flow throughout all of these points. Navigate anxiety and resistance with awareness. No matter how experienced of a psychedelic explorer we are, at certain points in the, the experience, there will be anxiety. There will be discomfort. And when anxiety and discomfort and challenging memories or emotions arise, it's very natural. It is very natural to resist these things or try to run in the other direction. But just as we were discussing with the expression of emotionality, moving through the experience, moving through this, the, the, the discomfort, moving through the anxiety, rather than trying to distract or run in the opposite direction or paddle upstream, this is the quickest and most powerful way to level up, my friends. I've seen many people come to the psychedelic experience who are really craving a spiritual or mystical experience. And they're really disappointed when instead of meeting God, they travel back to early childhood memories, painful memories, perhaps even a traumatic experience. And this leads to a lot of resistance because they don't want that experience. They want this blissful God encounter type experience, right? But the irony of the situation is that the fastest way to get these mystical experiences is to move through whatever is being presented to us first. And I will say that I've noticed as a general trend, this is not always the case, but as a general trend, before we can have these massive spiritual experiences, most of the time we need to work on ourselves. We need to heal these deep core wounds and get that baseline of solid mental, emotional, spiritual wellness. And then again, the experience opens up in the most incredible way. The seventh tip is to orient attention inwardly. This is so basic and so fundamental, but so powerful. Orient attention inwardly. This means again, becoming aware of where our attention is, becoming aware of what we are attending to, and turning our attention around to the place where attention is coming from. Becoming aware of our inner world, becoming aware of awareness aware of awareness. I can't emphasize enough. This is what led to my most profound psychedelic experience that I've ever had, where I took a breakthrough dose of DMT, dimethyltryptamine, and I, it felt like I was essentially launched out of my body. And I arrived in this unbelievable, uh, expansive alternate dimension with all these incredible geometric patterns and beings there and for whatever reason in that experience I had the insight I had the impulse what if I instead of paying attention to this carnival that is in front of me what if I pay attention to the one who is aware and I cannot even tell you what happened next. It felt like I folded in upon myself and this portal just opened up and it felt like I directly encountered the central sun of all of existence, the infinite divine source of life, the ultimate reality. And I always describe this as like a drop of rain hitting the surface of the ocean and instantly becoming one with the entire ocean. That all started with pausing, becoming aware, and becoming aware of awareness, going inwards. All of the deepest psychedelic voyages are inner voyages, inner travels, right? And what this means is that we need to limit external distractions. I often recommend to people to wear an eye mask or close their eyes and really go inwards, possibly listen to music if that helps you to focus inwardly. This is a fundamental approach for psychedelic exploration. Last but not least, here's a bonus tip for you. Follow your intuition, follow your inner guidance. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but it's so important, it's worth repeating. Again, there's no one right way to trip. And much more important than following all these tips down to a T is to follow your own intuition. Follow your inner guidance. Do what feels right what feels best for you. And I often find that in the psychedelic experience, it's like this intuitive uh, knowing 
magnifies, it gets louder, I become more aware of it, right? And we all have this place of inner wisdom within each one of us. We're all infinite divine beings as far as I'm concerned. And follow that voice, follow that inner knowing, and it will not serve you wrong. So those are some tips and guidelines for deeper psychedelic experiences. Psycho not fundamentals for all you beautiful people out there. Now it's worth noticing as well that these techniques are, are not limited to the psychedelic experience, right? They serve us well in our everyday lives. And the more that we practice higher states of consciousness, expanded awareness, presence, meditation, and all these things in everyday life, the more naturally that they will come to us in the psychedelic experience. That's how we open up new realms and dimensions of exploration in the psychedelic experience. Now, thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to discuss any of this further, schedule a free first session with me at innervisionpsychedelics.com. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Special thanks to my Patreon family. I'm sending so much love to every single one of you. I appreciate you all. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.